So how did you start connecting this whole alphanumeric with numbers and how did they come about? Yeah, numbers are obviously very significant in the Bible. And, you know, coming from a Jewish background, being a rabbi, you know, understanding the numerical connection between words hmm. is a huge thing yeah. uh, from, a, from a Jewish perspective of interpreting the scriptures. But I think one of the things that really drove me to it is that I firmly believe that there is not one wasted word in the Bible. Wow. If there is a detail in the Bible, you better believe that detail is there for a reason. God is very economical. He doesn't waste <laughs> anything. <laughs> okay. And so that's really where it began, you know, going even back to the early gospels, John chapter two, where it says Jesus does the miracle, Yeshua does the miracle of turning the water into wine on the sixth day of the week. Well, if it says sixth day of the week, why is it so important that it's the sixth day yeah. of the week? Well, yeah. man was created on the sixth day of the week. Yep. In Jewish thought, he fell on the sixth day of the week. We lost six things as a result of the fall. When Jesus comes, he comes to restore what was lost. He does the miracle with six stone pots. He dies on the cross on Good Friday, Friday, which on the biblical calendar is the sixth day of the week. He dies on the day of the week that man was created and he fell. And with the six stone pots, because he's when he dies on the cross, why does he die on a tree? Because how does sin enter the world? Man stole from a tree. Right. So God puts back on the tree for you and me. He has a crown of thorns on his head. Why? What's the curse of creation? The ground will produce thorns and thistles. He's taking the curse on his head to break it and to restore the blessing of the original creation. The rabbis say in the kingdom, we're going to drink the wine from the six days of creation. On the sixth day when Jesus does that miracle, they're getting a little taste of the of the wine of the kingdom that we're going to have at the marriage supper of the lamb. But one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> six, it's, six is represented by the Hebrew letter Vav, which is the sixth Hebrew letter of the alphabet. Okay. And Vav is the most used letter okay. in the first five books of the Bible because it's the conjunction and. So anytime there's an and, it's the letter Vav representing okay. it, and it's stuck on to the beginning of the word. Well, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 has seven words in Hebrew representing the seven days of creation. The sixth word of the seven words of Genesis 1, 1, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, begins with the sixth letter, and it's God created the heavens and is the sixth word, earth. So six represents the number of connection and the connection between heaven and earth. When wow. man disobeyed in the beginning, we broke the connection. Jesus dies on the cross to restore the connection and to restore the fruitfulness and abundance. I came that you might have life and have it more abundantly, hence the six stone pots. Woo!